Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2015 exam and is for two marks. Let us first read the statement, then I'm going to explain it. Have a look. Question is, host A sends a UDP datagram containing 8,880 bytes of user data to host B over an Ethernet LAN. Ethernet frames may contain data up to 1500 bytes. That is, MTU is equal to 1500 bytes. Size of UDP header is 8 bytes and size of IP header is 20 bytes. There is no option field in IP header. How many total number of IP fragments will be transmitted and what will be the contents of offset field in the last fragment? Okay. So they are saying we have 8880 bytes of user data at A that needs to be transmitted to B. So this much data will be present at application layer. Application layer will give this data to lower layers which is transport layer and we are using UDP at transport layer. So this data is given to transport layer and here we are using UDP user datagram protocol. UDP will take this data and add its header of 8 bytes. Okay. So total is 8880 plus 8 which is 8888. So a user datagram is formed by UDP. This datagram will be given to the lower layers which is network layer. Network layer will just treat this entire thing as data. Network layer will not be aware that first 8 bytes are header or whatsoever. Okay. This entire thing will be treated as data by network layer. Now network layer will see that size of this data is very big. It is 8888 bytes. Network layer is aware that limitation at data link layer is only of 1500 bytes. It is given in the question that data that can be present in one frame is 1500 bytes. So except for header and trailer at data link layer frame, we can have maximum data of 1500 bytes and whatever packet is formed by network layer, the IP packet that has to be placed inside this part. Okay. So maximum size of IP packet can be 1500. This is the MTU maximum transmittable unit. Now if IP packet is of 1500 bytes maximum, how much data can it contain? 1480. Because if you place IP packet here like this, first 20 bytes will be of IP header. So IP data can be 1480 maximum in one packet. Okay. So network layer or the IP protocol will try to form packets in such a way that one packet can easily be placed in one frame. Okay. So it will take this data and it will divide it into smaller parts where each part can contain maximum of 1480 bytes. Okay. From here to here. So question is how many fragments will be formed? That will be total size divided by size of one fragment. So let us do it. Triple eight eight divided by 1480. This will be okay. Let us use a calculator. It will be six point something, maybe eight 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 divided by 1480. It is six point zero zero five. What is the meaning of six point zero zero five? It means if we divide 8888 by 1480, we will get six packets of this size. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six packets or six fragments will be of maximum size possible. That is 1480. But in the last fragment or last part, there will be very small amount of data. Okay. So this is the last part. 
it is very small it is not complete 1480 bytes because if we keep on dividing at the end very small amount of data will be left that is 0.005th part of 1480 okay now have a look 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 six complete fragments and last seventh one is a very small fragment okay so how many total fragments are created that is seven you can also take ceiling of this one because saying 6.005 fragments does not make much sense this 005 is a fragment okay so it will be treated as one fragment even though it contains very small amount of data so total we have seven fragments answer to first question is seven they were asking how many fragments will be formed it is seven fragments now let us see what will be the offset of last fragment so in offset of this last fragment what will be saved offset means how much data is already placed in the fragments that were formed earlier so in first fragment we have placed 1480 here also 1480 here also 1480 and total such six fragments are formed before the seventh fragment so how many total bytes of data have been placed in all of these fragments it will be 1480 into 6 okay so this comes out to be 0 6 are 48 that means 8 24 plus 8 is 8 and again 8 okay so this much data is placed in all of these fragments so offset for seventh fragment will be this much that means how much data has already been placed in fragments but will this be directly saved in fragment offset field no the scaling factor for fragment offset field is 8 so divide this number by 8 and then save it see when network layer of a will send the fragments it will divide the fragment offset by 8 when b will receive it it will multiply it by 8 so overall the number will remain same only divide the side by 8 and multiply the side by 8 so it will be not affected so what will be saved this number by 8 will be 1110 so fragment offset of last fragment is 1110 this is the answer to the second question now i like to explain few more things first one is this udp header it is placed only in the first fragment okay these fragments will not contain udp header actually ip protocol or the network layer is not even aware that these first 8 bytes are of udp header okay it does not care about what data means what okay second thing is this total size will be 1480 here also we have 1480 here also here also ip layer will take these 1480 bytes and place a 20 byte header so 1480 plus 20 is 1500 that will happily sit in one data link frame and will be transmitted in same way these six fragments will be sent what will be the size of last fragment it is the total size which is 4 times 8 minus this number so it will be 8 bytes so last fragment will contain this much data and a 20 byte header so total size will be 28 byte so the last frame that will be sent will be of very small size because in that we are sending only 28 bytes of data okay 28 bytes of data plus a very small header and a trail now i have a question for you this is a interesting question please listen to it carefully how many fragments will be formed if we are using tcp instead of udp okay what changes will be there if i decide to use tcp if you are thinking that still seven fragments will only be formed this is incorrect okay why see first thing is you might think that tcp will add a 20 byte header instead of 8 bytes and total data will be 8900 bytes if you divide it in 1480 bytes that means one fragment of 
of total 8900 you might get seven fragments only but this is incorrect see udp is message oriented if applications layers message is of this much size that means in one time application layer has given this much data to udp udp will make sure that at this machine b udp returns same amount of data in one time okay so if one message is given here also that message will be given as it is back to b so udp does not want to divide this data but tcp does not care about a message even if you have given 880 bytes of data to tcp tcp can divide this message see tcp will first not add its header so tcp can divide it one thing that you can be very sure that these smaller parts they will be given back in the same order that means this then this then this then this then this but it can divide and of one message it can create more than one segments okay now see if tcp can create segments then tcp will create the segments in such a way that fragmentation will not be required at this network layer okay so tcp will already see that 1500 bytes can be placed in one frame at maximum okay so minus 20 bytes ip header minus 20 bytes its own header tcp's header so you will get 1500 minus 40 that is 1460 so tcp will create segments of size 1460 and give one segment to the ip layer similarly it will give second segment to ip layer third segment fourth segment and so on after adding a 20 byte header so this data plus 20 byte header means 1480 okay ip will be very happy that it is already getting the data of 1480 ip will simply add its own header and give it to data link layer data link layer will transmit it what is happening eventually 20 byte ip minus 20 byte tcp header means 1460 so this tcp layer will get first segment of 1460 it will immediately give it to the above layer okay so this message was divided into smaller parts and those parts arrived one by one if we are using tcp but if you are using udp then they will be given all together that means this message will be intact but in tcp we can be very sure that each and every byte will be received and it will be received in order okay so this cannot happen that first this one is given then this one is given in tcp i'm talking okay now see some of the students say then why there is a need of fragmentation this happens only at sender the intermediate routers don't have any transport layer so if fragmentation is required at intermediate routers then fragmentation will be done but at sender that means when data where data originated at that place if tcp is being used we will create segments intelligently that fragmentation will not be required okay so i hope you have understood this question so answers were seven fragments and fragment offset will be 3110 in the last one okay so what will be the fragment offset in second fragment let us find it out see now i am just talking with respect to udp only in udp we have seen that size of one fragment formed will be 1480 so offset for second fragment will be the data which is contained in the first fragment that means 1480 so offset will be 1480 and what will be saved is 1480 divided by 8 due to scaling factor so you can have a look i have drawn a diagram to explain things more clearly this is the total amount of data that was given to network layer network layer decided to create seven fragments okay i am talking with respect to udp now forget about tcp udp in case of udp network layer will fragment and it created seven fragments in which last fragment had very small amount of data so first fragment had complete 1480 bytes here we have 1480 bytes of data in this fragment and network layer or the ip protocol will add a 20 byte header similarly second fragment will be formed third fourth fifth and sixth but in last fragment 
there will be very small amount of data that is only 8 bytes so these 8 bytes and there will be a 20 byte header so have a look these 1480 bytes will be from byte number 0 to byte number 1479 okay so byte number 1480 to byte number 2959 will be present here similarly you can see i've written these numbers so if we have total of these many bytes their numbering will start from 0 and it will go till 8887 okay so last byte 8887 is present in the last fragment okay now have a look fragment offset means what is the amount of data contained in the fragments that were formed earlier for this one the fragments that were formed before forming this fragment they contain no data because it is the first fragment only okay so for this one the data contained in these fragments is zero fragment offset is zero what will be saved in fragment offset field this number divided by eight so zero divided by eight is zero only okay so fragment offset field will also contain zero check for this one that is the second fragment for second fragment the data contained in the fragments that were formed earlier is 1480 so fragment offset is 1480 to get the actual number that will be saved in fragment offset field divide this by 8 so it will be 185 that means we are going to save 185 okay for this one for the third fragment c the total data contained in fragments that were formed earlier is this plus this that means 1480 into 2 that will be 2960 okay so what will be saved in the fragment offset field will be actual fragment offset divided by 8 because 8 is the scaling factor so this will be 8 threes are and uh, you will get 70 here okay so this number divided by 8 will be 370 so this is the number that is going to be saved okay similarly you can see this will be the fragment offset 1480 into 3 is triple four zero and to get what will be saved in fragment offset field you divide this by 8 divided by scaling factor this will be triple five okay similarly you can calculate the fragment offsets and fragment offset fields for this one and this one let us now analyze just this last fragment so its fragment offset will be how many bytes of data are contained in these six fragments it will be 1480 into 6 that is this number divided by 8 so it will be triple one zero okay this will be the fragment offset field so you can just analyze these things or just have a look i hope you have now understood this question clearly and i hope you have a good day